We noticed that in the rider, in rider 50, in the 84th ledge, that it, it reduced all of the funds that it was reduced. I was wondering, did any of those reductions, were there any of those restored in this budget? And of the $400 million in the Medicaid cost confinement, containment that has been identified through quality or efficiency measures, have they been reallocated? Uh, and what can we do, just like you had earlier, you said that if the federal funds didn't come through, that we would be responsible for, and I, I'm not sure if it was you, I think it was you, uh, that mentioned to Senator Garcia that we would be there for the women's health care initiatives. And I was just curious because our, this is an issue that it's not a partisan issue, it's a children's issue. It's a children's issue with very severe, in many cases, uh, disabilities that are very, quite severe and that they need those therapies uh, for their children to, to, to live. And so uh, it's important for us to be able to make sure that we don't have any unintended consequences. And I don't think... I know for a fact, uh, two years ago when we passed the budget, that we, no one here uh, thought that there, anybody would lose their therapies. And so I, that's just a concern that I want to make sure that there's there anything as the process moves forward that we can do to ensure that, that that's not the case. Well, we are, uh, thank you for your question, Senator. And um, we are, as I mentioned earlier, continually assessing access and availability of those services. Um, and that was part of the rider. That was part of rider 50. And again, that was not reported by individuals. Um, and, and the data just doesn't support that there's been an access issue as of yet. Data that I've gotten from HHSC in, in my hand as of March 13th, uh, the number of um, substantiated complaints that had to do with availability of service, which is access, there were only four out of a, a total of 35 substantiated complaints and of a total of 248 complaints in totality. So, um, you know, I certainly want to make sure that every individual that needs the help of the state, especially those that um, are our most vulnerable populations, pediatric patients that have special needs in particular, have those services. Uh, but at the same time, we have to be good stewards of our taxpayer dollars. Right. And, um, you know, I, I think it's myself as a provider, I, I think I can... I can say and stand that there are, there are areas of our budget that we need to glean and carefully evaluate. And, and uh, as a pharmacist and as a physician, uh, I think I have a unique insight that can assist this body and, and this legislature in, in making some of those tough decisions, but at the same time pivoting away or, or toward them if, if necessary. Uh, and I give you my word, again, as I did with Senator Resti, that if there are changes that show access issues, we'll take action. Uh, I don't think anybody wants to... Uh, be hindering access when, um, when we are obligated to do it and, and, and that individual needs it. But at the same time, I think it's important that, that we uh, continue to look across all health care and health care uh, endeavors and, and costs associated with that and rates that we pay for those services and make sure that we're paying a, a competitive rate, uh, not an exorbitant rate, um, for, for various types of services. Um, of that Rider 50 that envisioned $373 million in cost containment. It has not achieved that amount. As, as you're aware, it's been only about 150. Some of that has been certain delays in court proceedings uh, that have occurred for various portions of that. Uh, there is a new cost containment rider in this budget. It's Rider 36 um, that, um, that, that tries to obtain uh, and $410 million in, in, in general revenue savings. Uh, in our Medicaid program, and I'd be happy to go over the, that rider with you at any time or, or now if you'd like. Um, but um, I think it's important that each budget does have, uh, a, a based upon the, the, the work group's um, evaluation of where we are and what needs to be looked at or and enhanced or, or diminished regarding um, scope and, and, and amount uh, of services and and duration of services, those things need to be looked at on a constant basis. And I think it is absolutely appropriate and, and critical that we do have cost containment riders in our budgets that, that do put, um, that streamline operations and, and do put in place a, a way for us to uh, achieve savings in the largest portion of our budget now, which is health care. I couldn't agree with you more. I think we have to be smart about how we provide uh, therapies and services. But also, I think it, sometimes when we try to save money, we can end up spending more money. Uh,